can never run away from the truth. The truth is the truth. There's nothing you can do about it. It remains the truth. Augustus Mpenyi, born in the year 1978. You work in the government of Kenya. You are watching me because you doubt the prophetic. You are alive because I'm seeing you in a red shirt, a watch. Kalema's here. It's a silver kind of a watch. I'm seeing you with a Kenyan bangle on your right hand with the flag of Kenya. You are wearing a short, black short with a shirt. Even your life is confused. How do you wear a shirt with a shirt you are watching and you are criticizing the prophetic? You are married with three kids. Your wife is called Rose. I'm going to give you details so that you can know it's me that I'm talking to you. I don't know you, you don't know me. You are married to Rose, a light-skinned lady, slim. She's not in the house now. She went to church in town. She goes to Pastor Nganga's church. Rose, when she left your house, she was wearing a blue kind of green dress from the top to the to down here. She sells suits in town. She has a shop along Moy Avenue. She has a shop. She sells with a friend called Selina. That's your wife. As I'm talking to you right now, your child has been diagnosed with something like a, a how do you call it? I'm looking for the word. It's a growth inside the stomach. You are a child who is four years old. Called blessing. She's supposed to go for an operation. The Lord says, I should tell you, she's scheduled for operation on Thursday. She will die. My name is General. Pick. You see, it is sinful to doubt the majesty of God. I have the ability and the capacity to save her, but the Lord says she will die to humble your pride. So before Thursday, speak good words because I'm seeing a casket in that child inside. There is no mercy for you. That the world may know that he alone is God. I, I feel I have a feeling that has humbled you quite. I have a feeling that has humbled you. He is God. And he's real. Because you don't believe in him. 